today's show. See if you can guess what this will become in today's One Minute Make. In Food Fingertips, we'll show you how to cast yourself away on a tropical banana dessert. And in Techno Fingertips, find out how to use your computer and send a secret message. For all the details on the makes, you can replay this programme whenever you feel like it. Look at our website or grab a pen and paper and chop them down straight away. If you want somewhere to stash your nest egg, even if it's just a paltry sum, then we've hatched a plan. We'll have you egg static. Because you won't have to shell out to make the fingertips flipping chicken. Give us a coin, Steve. There you go. Watch this. Excellent. <laughs> My turn. Here we go. Watch as you ready. Woo! Okay, no more foul yokes. Let's show them how it's done now, Steve. Another coin, please. There you go. Now. Inside the fingertips flipping chicken, there's a special mechanism which works just like a seesaw. What you do is just drop the coin on this little ledge here, and the wings flip up. <laughs> now, you've probably worked out that the chicken starts out life as... An egg. No, a balloon covered in three layers of paper mache to make it nice and strong. Now, to make the chicken's tail, head and wings, you just need to get your fingertips on some thin card. Then, get a dinner plate and put it at the bottom of your piece of card and drill all the way around it. Then, move your dinner plate up about five centimetres and draw around the top section again so you get a little semicircle, like that. Then, cut these shapes out and this little semicircle, when curled round, will become a tail like your chicken's just by going like that. And this circle here will become the chicken's head. You just cut a slit from the outside right into the centre and then curl it round and you get a cone shape like that, which you can then put a piece of tape on to keep it in place. Now, for your chicken's wings, get a side plate and draw around that onto some thin card. And then once you've got your circle, cut that in half. And with your semicircles, you want to round off one end and feather the other end. Now, to make the chicken's feet, it couldn't be easy. Just get three bendy straws, tape them together, and then just bend them upwards. Easy as that. Now it's time to make the seesaw mechanism inside your chicken's body. So get two more bendy straws then, bend them over, and stick them on so the short end is pointing out towards the feathery bit on your wing. So do this with both of your straws. There's the first one. Let's do the same with the second one. A bit of sticky tape should hold them in place nicely. And then... On the top of one of your straws, you want to cut a little slit so you can just push one inside the other like that. And now we need to measure our wings against our chicken's body. Steve, have you got the chicken's body? Here's one I laid earlier. <laughs> I laid it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Now, just measure your wings so they're slightly wider than the fattest part of the body. That should just be about right there. Then once you're happy with that, get some tape and stick the straws together. And now you want to make a card tongue just like this. And this is where the coin hits inside the chicken. And you want to stick it pointing away from the feathery bit. So another bit of tape should hold that nicely into place. Now tape your legs onto your chicken's body and this will stop it from moving about when you're working. And then mark where your wings are going to go. And you want to make a hole either side of your balloon on the fattest part, there and there. And then you cut in between the holes around the fat end. So just chop all the way round very carefully. Now you may find this a bit stiff but it will be fine. Just go from hole to hole like that and then you need your seesaw. One seesaw. Good timing. Now you may need to trim your tongue to make sure it fits inside your balloon but let's see if this one will go in like this. I think it will. And the straws will just sit in the holes that you made, which will also allow the wings to move easily like that. And then you take the balloon back together again. 
crated our chicken's head. We've given him some wobbly eyes and a comb on top. And his neck's just made out of a kitchen roll cut in half. Once you've done this, you can mark up where it's going to go on your chicken's body. So just draw around the base of the kitchen roll using a pen. And then, using a sharp pencil, make a starter hole and cut out that shape so you can just slot your neck into place. And then using some sticky tape, got some there, Steve? Here we go. Thank you. You can just stick him all around like that and that should hold the head nicely upright. And just using some sticky tape, you can also put the tail onto the back of your chicken. And now, Stephen, it's time for the moment of truth. Here we go. Let's drop a coin. Come on. Come on, chicken. Hey! hey! <laughs> what excited chicken! <laughs> and now you can decorate your chicken. You could paint him or you could stick on lots of pieces of thin paper stuck down with a glue stick in different layers to look like feathers. Now, if you'd like to make your very own fingertips flipping chicken, then check out the fingertips website. We shall give you the address at the end of today's programme. Just click on top make and all of the information you need will be there. But if you do have a pen and paper handy right now, then we'll go over it again. Paper mache a balloon, then draw around a dinner plate to make a head. Don't forget the extra bit for the tail and draw around a side plate to make the wings. Make the larger circle into a cone. Cut the smaller circle in half and round off to make two wings. Make the feet out of three bendy straws taped together. Tape two straws together and add a cardboard tongue to make your flapping wing seesaw. Mark where the wings go on your chicken's body and cut between the two marks. Slide the seesaw mechanism into your chicken's body so it rests in place. And stick the head onto a kitchen roll neck and mark its position on the body. Once the neck is stuck in place, decorate your chicken with paint or paper feathers. So, start saving your nest egg and stash your cash in a fingertips flipping chicken. Hey, you could make the goose that's laid the golden egg. That'll stop your money from egg-scaping. <laughs> Got a minute? Because this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something in under a minute using odds and ends from around your house. Today, it is my turn to make. And it's my turn to time. And this is all I need to come up with something that's going to make you go, wow. Now, you can make it too, and we're not going to tell you what this is just yet. See if you can guess along the way. Mr Mulhern, <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. Good. Three, two, one. Go! Right, I take my square bit of card and I fold it in half. And I fold it in half again, like this. There we go. Then, how am I doing? Uh, that's ten seconds gone. That's all right. Now, here's a bit of a clue. I just cut down here. Not much of a clue, actually. It's very interesting. But you'll see what this is in just a second. To cut down all the way down mm -hmm. very carefully. Twenty seconds gone. Okay, no problem. Now, I get some sticky tape. And I get lots of sticky tape. <laughs> and I get my CD box. And, and this is where you start losing time, isn't it, Steve? Okay. And you're now 30 seconds bit under. Bit of sticky tape there, bit of sticky tape there, bit more sticky tape there. Lots of sticky tape everywhere. Lock it on, and a bit more. <laughs> I would give you a hand, but I can't. <laughs> I'm doing but this. Um, you'll never guess what this is, but when you see it, you're going to love it. 43, 44, 45 okay. seconds gone. Then what I do is I unfold this, and you see the shape I've got. There's a bigger clue. Have Ten, a look. Now, nine, pop this eight, in here. Seven, and Six, put that in there five, like that. Four, and I say stop. Three. That. Two. Clock. With two seconds to spare. Ah. That is quite cool considering you just made yourself there a stained glass window. Certainly have. Now, you might not believe us, right? But uh, if I just put these pair of polarizing sunglasses on and take the make and do this. Have a look at that. That is fantastic. Now, look, to see what I'm seeing. Just have a look at this. Now, we put a polarising filter on our camera here in the studio at Fingertips, and we've got our make in the middle and another piece of polarising filter behind, and you get the stained glass effect. It's good, isn't it? But if you've got a lot more time and a lot more sticky tape, you could make something as elaborate as this. How cool does that look? So if you want to have a go, you need to get yourself two pairs of polarising sunglasses, lots of sticky tape and a CD case, and then do some experimenting. You will be able to make stained glass in under a minute. Oh, imagine being marooned on your very own desert island with nothing to do all day but sun yourself on a banana cake beach or dip your toes in some jelly ocean filled with fruit surprises and chocolate rafts. Mmm! Banana cake sand. Delicious. 
This is Food Fingertips, the part fingertips, the part of the program where we show you something that's fun to make and great to taste. And today we're making a tropical dream dessert perfect for any island castaway. And the great thing is it's so easy to make. And very tasty. Oh, thank you. Uh, not you. Uh, now to make ferns perfect pudding, uh, you need to get your fingertips on a dish. Now we're using a big round one, uh, but you can use any sort of one. Also, you need to get a cake. Now you could go to the shop and buy like a banana cake, or you could go to the Fingertips website. We'll give you the address at the end of today's show and on there there's a recipe so you can make your own one. Now to make the island you want to take your cake and pop it in the centre of your dish. Then for your rippling waves you want to mix up some jelly according to instructions on the packet and then leave this to cool. And whilst you're waiting for this to happen it's time to make a little bit of sea life. Now for that we are using slices of nectarine and we've cut out fruit fish shapes and you can also use orange for this so you pop them around your coastline. Let's pop them all in there all the way round. It's looking good already and we haven't even added the sea yet. I know here comes the rippling waves. You want to add your jelly before it's Sets. Just pour it into your dish and you want to pour it right up to the rim and if you have any left over just put it in a bowl and you can save it for later. So keep pouring it all the way in there and then just leave it to set. Yep, that's set good and wobbly. Now it's time to get decorating. How about using some squirty cream as your breaking waves? Lovely. And how about a couple of beach towels made from paper napkin bits for your castaways to lie on? And some shady palm trees, which just made from straws with crepe paper leaves. Very realistic. You could even have a chocolate raft made from chocolate biscuits for your castaways to float around the banana coastline. Oh, look at that desert island. That's good enough to eat, isn't it? Brilliant, isn't it? So go on, cast yourself away on your very own Food Fingertips Tropical Island Dessert. Where everything is edible. Um, apart from that. One of the time-tested ways of writing a secret message is using... ...a lemon. You just have to get some lemon juice on a cocktail stick and then... Get writing your message. Oi! And then, when you've written your message and it's dry, you can't see it. And you can only see it again when you heat it. And you heat it using an iron. Let's see what it says. Let's give it a good iron. And look at that! Well, hey! Lemons the old fashioned way. And you know what? It certainly is, because using an iron can burn the paper, and if you're not careful, it can burn you too. This is Techno Fingertips, the part of the programme where we put technology to creative use. And today, we have a high-tech spy tech tip that will guarantee the next time you want to send a secret message, you'll never burn your fingertips again. Check this out. The next time you want to send an email that you want to keep secret, how about using electronic invisible ink? It sounds crazy, but it's true. Have a look at this. There is nothing else written on this page. Believe that, you'll believe anything. There's more to this message than meets the eye. If I just go to select all... Ah, you see this blue bit? See, that's highlighting where the invisible message is. And if I go up to black, click on that just there, there's the message. Look, dear Stephen, tell them the secret love fern. OK, well, the first thing you need to do is get a new page and then write in your message. Let's type in, now you see it. Then you select all, and that blue box appears again, and this is what's going to make it invisible, because what I'm going to do is change the writing to the same colour as my background, which is white. And watch, it goes as quick as that. And to get it back, all you do is click on select all again. There's the blue box that's hiding our little message. Go back up here and go back to black, which it was at the start, and the message will reappear as quick as that. So, you saw it here first. Or maybe you didn't. Computer magic with a bit of techno fingertips know-how. And we've got some more invisible messages written in techno fingertips invisible ink hidden on our website. 
if you can find them. Well, that's it for today's show. If you want to make anything from the programme, then check out our website. The address is on the screen now. And we'll see you very soon for some more... Finger Tips! See ya! Bye!